Well, this is six-year-old Sarah last November at the Santa Claus Parade. She was chosen as police officer for a day. She got to hang out with some police officers and, of course, received some presents. Diving into that gift bag absolutely makes me melt. Her face says it all. Um, that day with Sarah was really about what you guys do here at the Dream Factory, right, Howard? Yeah. Uh, Sarah, she's a great example of yeah. just the special kids we deal with. And, you know, one thing with Sarah's story that... At the end of the story, they talked about when they did the, uh, the uh, story back in December, the reality of it. Like she was a little kid having fun, winning everyone over. But at the end of the day, she uh, had to go home for chemo medicine. She had run out of medicine. So that's the reality she's facing. Uh, but here at the Dream Factory, if we can put a smile on their face for a little while, that's what we're all about. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that was just a simple day. Uh, she hung out with some police officers, but her real dream was to go to Disney World. And you guys made that happen, right? We sure did. She just went there recently. And her real dream, her ultimate dream, was to be a princess for the day. So she went to the uh, boutique and got herself made up as a princess. And she sent us her pictures. And if anyone wants to see, they're on our, our Dream uh, Factory Facebook page. And yeah, it was unbelievable, unbelievable. We absolutely fell in love with Sarah. She had such an infectious personality. Um, March, we are here at the Dream Factory because March is month of dreams, um, a big fundraising month for you guys. And you guys make it super easy. Um, but like we said, this is going towards making, um, uh, taking, you know, we can't imagine what it's like to uh, experience a serious illness as a child. Um, what does a dream, making a dream come true, what does that do for, you know, a child or a family going through this? Sure. Well, each family, it affects them differently. Mm -hmm. I've only been involved with the organization for about four months now, and that was the very first question I asked, too, because it's a very important question. And the answer I got, and I actually asked the grandmother of one of our kids. Uh, her daughter is in the military, was overseas, and the grandmother was with the, uh, with the dream kid. And she said, while her granddaughter was going through therapy, through chemotherapy, the one thing that kept her going the whole time, the one thing she always hung on to and looked forward to was her dream that was coming up. Mm -hmm. And that put it into perspective for me. And there's another little girl who uh, went on her dream, went down to Disney World, and she has to do some very difficult things still as part of her treatment, including uh, some bone marrow testing, which is very difficult. And no kid should have to go through that. It's a very difficult test. But what she does is she gathers up all her things that she uh, got at Disney World, her dolls, her, her mascots and little things, and, th and takes them with them or with her because that's her warm place and that's what makes her happy so that's the kind of impact these dreams have on these kids and their families and how is how important is it to um how important is fundraising and getting the public community's help to make these happen for kids it's the only way they happen uh, we're 100 percent based here in manitoba and all our, our funds go to help uh, manitoba kids uh, so we have no funding through government that type of thing it's all through individuals and companies so without it these dreams don't happen, so that's what it's all about for us. Now you guys make Month of Dreams, you make it very easy for people mm -hmm. to help out. How does it work? Sure, well the idea of Month of Dreams is just to have a bit of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, there's really two arms of it. There's one arm which is, is the corporate or the business arm, and we have about 30 businesses right now who are going to have things like casual days, barbecues, uh, they get clouds they can put up saying you know why they're supporting it, that kind of thing. And uh, the other one is the schools, and the schools is really fun because it's to educate the younger people, teach them about helping and helping other people. And we actually even have one of our dream kids who goes to one of the schools that's going to have uh, have a, an event, and he's going to make a speech. So that's really going to hit home for them. So it's just about having a little bit of fun. And last year, the two, um, uh, the corporate and the uh, the schools, raised over thirty thousand dollars for us. So having some fun and raising some dollars for you know really good cause. Well, hopefully, we can beat that this year. Where can people go for more information? Uh, they can go to our website, which is www dot the dream factory dot ca Perfect. and uh, get all the information right there Perfect. again that's the dream factory dot ca uh, make sure we help the dream factory out it's a very uh, important month month for them and while you're online make sure you check us out that'll do for today's episode of go we are uh, on facebook and twitter and all you have to do is search for shaw tv winnipeg we will see you on the next episode of go